So in case you aren't aware, uh, predictive policing apps make predictions about where and when crimes will occur based on data about where and when crimes have already occurred. Um, as an example, this is uh, the interface for an application called HunchLab. Um, as you can see, the software is predicting that there's a high likelihood of larceny in the highlighted green square. Um, as you probably know, uh, machine learning applications tend to reinforce and reproduce the biases in their training data. And this is particularly dangerous in the case of predictive policing because that data comes from uh, police departments that at times uh, could be accused of being systemically racist. And the risk here, of course, is that it produces a kind of feedback loop for over-policing communities of color. So in response, we decided to make a predictive policing app that uses the same techniques and methodologies that real predictive policing apps use, but we flip the data set. Instead of using data about street crime, we put in data from, from FINRA, uh, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. So FINRA is a non-governmental organization responsible for regulating the financial industry. To get our data, we parsed a bunch of PDFs that look like this, uh, looking for instances where FINRA had fined organizations for financial malfeasance. And then we used a machine learning approach common in predictive policing called risk terrain modeling. Uh, it generates a model by combining multiple features of a landscape correlated to risk. In our case, we used instances of financial malfeasance, density of nonprofits, liquor stores, bars and clubs, and density of investment advisors. Um, and this is what we made. Um, this is, of course, a map of New York City. The rectangles indicate locations where our system uh, predicts a high likelihood of white-collar crime. The redder and darker the square, the higher the danger level. Clicking on different squares gives you more information, um, including what types of crimes we believe will occur, um, as well as the severity of the crime and nearby financial firms that might be institutional suspects. We also show a composite image of a most likely individual white-collar criminal suspect. Uh, to make this, we did a facial average of high-level uh, financial executives who work in the area, uh, scraping that data from LinkedIn. As you can see, every individual composite is unique, but they all look uh, almost exactly the same. <laughs> 